Nowadays, it's pretty easy to do a quick Google search for a name and find out quite a lot of info about someone. It's scary how much of my personal information is accessible, especially since I would consider myself pretty limited in the personal data I put out there. However, data brokers collect and then sell your information to scammers, spammers, advertisers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, cell phone, email, home address, health records, your relatives, it's all out there and easy to find. That's why I've started using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests for me. Cleaning up my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, but protects me from hackers who could use this information to help them access my social media accounts, bank accounts, or other sensitive information. I don't know if you saw this, but AT&T recently revealed that over 73 million customer records, both existing and former customers, were released on the dark web. AT&T recommends those affected use strong passwords, monitor account activity, and consider credit freezes or fraud alerts from credit bureaus. Well, Aura does this all for me. And best of all, I don't have to download several different apps just because a company couldn't keep my data secure. To help you secure your data, Aura is offering my viewers a 14-day free trial at my special link down in the description at aura.com fgcms. Now back to the video and what I do best. Yes, sir. Good, how you guys doing? Oh. What happened? Captain Georgia Sub on Sandbox. <laughs> Captain Sandbox. Well, at least you guys aren't the one that's sinking up in Tampa Bay right now. No, you heard that? Yeah. yeah. Just listen to that. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Cito's on their way out there, but. Alright. Uh, not sure what he's. We got a guy with a tugboat so, trying to get assistance. What, what do we need to do here? Ah, uh, let's see. I think we'll probably just go right off your toe eye there. Want to take this line, just loop it through your toe eye, and then bring it back to me. Yep. Going this back? Uh, my line. You're, yeah, you're good. My well, buddy had a stroke a little bit ago, and he's slow. <laughs> what was that? He's, he had a stroke, but he's slow. But he's doing great. Side clear. Oh, it's front. Yep. Thank you. Can you believe an hour and a half? That's the first person you stopped and offered. Not surprising. We've been pushing and pushing. We waited at the end to call you guys. <laughs> Holy shit, look how beached you are. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Well, it depends. You want to get on the boat or you want to stand off for now? Because if you want to get on the boat, I can try pulling. You get on, your, you get on that boat. You're going to you're gonna have to drive that once we get off. I got a jack plate and I can, I can pull them up with the props a little bit down. Yeah, just get get everything as high as you can. And run it? Nope, don't run it. No, you get up in the middle. You want to both on one side or no? No, you just kind of sit wherever. Just make sure you're sitting down. <laughs> Is 
And for you, I'd recommend walking somewhere over that way. So I'm gonna kind of pull back out the way I came in. to get wet, but we're going to be using a good amount of this tow line to get back out of here. So you can do it just the first one. That was easy. This is vessel in distress. Current position 27 degrees north, 36.47 feet. West 0.82 degrees, 53.998 feet. Currently headed in towards Tampa Bay, being towed by another vessel. About three quarters. It's what this boat's meant to do. <laughs> well, you know what you're doing. Press it.
Yep. Uh, of course it wrapped. <laughs> Well, when you first called in, I thought he was like right in the bay. He kept talking about, I see a building, and I'm like. I mean, Seco had a guy over at Passage Key, and they said it was going to take about a half hour to get to him. So I think he was probably closer to like the Skyway Bridge. But if you're taking on water and you keep moving, doesn't it flush the shit out or no? Well, he said he's in a 19 foot skiff. Oh. And. Like oh! Drift, yeah, so. Kids? Out there? 19 yeah. foot bay liner. Yeah, 19 foot bay liner with three people on board. I didn't hear it was kids, but. Based on that storm that came through, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like three four footers out in the bay right yeah. now. So, definitely not something you want to be in a 19 foot boat. <clears throat> Twenty second already. Here, brother. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you, man. You're very welcome. Thanks. Good back right into that same bar. <laughs> hey, you guys all set? Yes, sir. It's been a week in the keys. Good. Keys Appreciate that wear me out. <laughs> a week in the keys. Seven nine footers wear me out. Hey, yeah. Just tow us back to Tampa, <laughs> make sure we get there. I'm heading that way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Appreciate it. You guys stay safe out there. Thank you. Well, thanks for watching this video, and I guess we'll see you on the next one.